you know, these are known to be active treatment. Uh, it's not like the patients are going to have placebo and uh, will have a treatment that has no activity. We know that uh, each of these treatment regimens used in these trials have already been shown and proven to work in colorectal cancer, um, working meaning that the measures of um, efficacy uh, have been um, reported uh, such that uh, chemotherapy versus chemotherapy plus additional uh, biologic agent uh, has shown that when you add the biologic agent, there seem to have higher chance or higher potential for shrinking the cancer, delaying the progression and prolonging life. Both of the agents that uh, both of the biologic agents being tested in these two trials have already been shown to, to do those things compared to chemotherapy alone. The question is, which one's better? The University of Kansas have been, has been um, fortunate to be uh, chosen as one of the centers to study some of the new agents that we have for patients with advanced colon cancer and other solid tumors. Um, Although we know about the KRAS story that patients with KRAS gene mutation will not benefit from drugs such as cetuximab or panitumumab, we do not understand why those patients with wild type KRAS, um, why is it that we don't have 100% response rates on those patients? So this is just part of the story. Uh, we don't think that uh, we know everything about uh, the signaling system in the tumor cells. And therefore, other pathways uh, in the signaling system ha um, have been looked at as targets for treatment. So we have a new drug uh, that we are going to test uh, with chemotherapy. Again, this will be given on patients who have advanced colon cancer after they have failed first, uh, first line, second line, or third line. Um, and this is an agent that is oral, and the side effect seems to be acceptable. Again, this uh, drug is in very early development, and that's why we're going to do a phase one trial to figure out what dose we can use this drug in combination with chemotherapy. So I'm truly very excited about this drug, and um, so that when our patients feel this first-line therapy, second-line therapy, we have something to offer them.